This lecture is going to serve as an introduction to the business process model annotation. We already learned about business process management and the PDCA cycle in the previous lecture. Remember, we can only improve what we can measure, and therefore organizations need to design and document all of their business processes. Let's have a closer look at how organizations try to accomplish that task. Flowcharts have been around for quite some time. They are a common and simple way to do so. Like other diagrams, they help to visualize complex systems and thereby help to better understand them. Flowcharts can be helpful by detecting less obvious features like flaws and bottlenecks. There are different types of flowchart notations out there, but most of them lack the required complexity to visualize real-world business processes in an effective manner. In addition, organizations often operate on a global scale which requires business process models to be standardized in order to guarantee a common understanding across the entire organization or even between different organizations. All in all, common flowcharts are not really well suited to document at such a large scale. This is where the business process model annotation comes into play. Because this is such a long term, people just call this notation BPMN. And this is what we will do in this course as well. BPMN has been developed by the Object Management Group. The OMG is an open membership, not-for-profit computer industry standards consortium that produces and maintains computer industry specifications. It was founded in 1989 and is well known across the industry. The primary goal of BPMN is to provide a notation that is readily understandable by all business users from the business analysts that design the initial drafts of the processes to the technical developers responsible for implementing the technology that will perform those processes and finally to the managers who will monitor and control those processes. Because of that, BPMN is considered a standard that enables us to model real-world business processes. The current version of BPMN is 2.0.2 and it was released in 2014. The best part about BPMN is it's free, so if you go to omg.org you can simply download the standard. Um, you get some basic information about the standard as well. And if you scroll down here, there's a, a section about normative documents. And this is where you can download the standard. It's open source and it's around 500 pages. So it's a lot to read. Um, but in this course, I try to focus on the essentials only so that you get a basic understanding. But if you have um, some some questions that go beyond the course, um, you can just have a look in here and you'll get all the information you need. Here you can see a business process of a hardware retailer that was modeled using BPMN. BPMN uses a set of standardized graphics that can be used to model business processes. These graphics are called BPMN elements. Let's have a brief look at some of them. Activities represent all the action within a process. There are tasks and sub-processes. Gateways are used to model and control the flow of a process. Think of them as elements to represent decisions. An event is something that happens during a process. There are start, end and intermediate events. Swim lanes help us to visualize the different roles and responsibilities within a process. Two or more swim lanes combined represent an organization or part of an organization. As the name already tells us, data objects represent data that is needed to perform certain activities. There are input and output data objects as well as data stores like um, databases. Artifacts provide additional information to the reader. Don't worry, right now everything might seem a little overwhelming but we will cover everything step by step and in more detail in the next section of this course. All right, this brings us to the end of this lecture. As always, feel free to have a look at the key learnings before advancing.